Libra. This is Gypsy Spirit here, ready to give you your love reading for April. And I've already drawn your cards from my romantic, excuse me, my romantic tarot deck. <laughs> um, but I'll go on with the formalities that I say in all of my videos. If this is, you know, this is a general read. So some of you it may resonate with, some of you it may not. Um, some bits and pieces of it may resonate with you. You take what resonates and throw away the rest. If you want your own your own personal reading, you can go to my website that's listed in the box below. And um, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please feel free to do so. Also, um, yes, if you have a comment to make, please leave a comment if you feel like doing so I always answer them so let's go ahead and get started Libra I am drawing from I drew from the romantic tarot deck um, and I just noticed a couple of days ago when I was doing some readings that this deck was actually made in Italy so I think it was really cool um got three cards you got this you got two major cards here one of them is the strength card Okay, and I'm going to explain it all. And then the other one is your High Priestess card. And then the uh, last one is the Seven of Pentacles. So let me just explain the Strength card. And it is upright. So, and then, well, what's really interesting is that you have the Strength card, but you also have your High Priestess card as well. And this is about relationships. Um, but I was also getting the feeling that for some of you, it may um, also be about finances as well. So, because you have the Seven of Pentacles. But as far as strength, um, your High Priestess, we have like that inner voice um, that's trying to guide us and lead us into the right direction. That's your High Priestess. And she is really trying to help you get on the right track. And what she's trying to tell you is that you are very strong. You have the strength and the courage to do what you need to do in this relationship. Um, something tells me that you have been having some hardships financially, and it's been really tough on the relationship. But, you know, like I said, your high priestess is really trying to help you see and help you stay strong um, to, to keep moving forward. And it's not so much about the relationship at this point that you need to be you know, thinking about as it is about yourself, your own well-being. And that's where the Seven of Pentacles is, is uh, you know, coming up because there's been some things that you've been trying to work on for yourself to improve yourself so that you can improve this relationship. But, um, you know, your Seven of Pentacles is telling you to keep moving forward. That whatever it is that you're doing, it's actually working. Even though it sometimes it seems like, you know, we're, we're ready to throw in the towel and move forward, you know, just go on to something else. But your High Priestess is really trying to help you stay strong, help you um, make the right decisions because, you know, we have the ability to choose um, something that will bring a negative, negative um, outcome or something that will, that will bring a positive outcome. And so what this, what is happening here is is your um, high priestess, that inner voice, that higher divine self that you have, that is only interested in your own good, is really trying to help you to stay strong and to keep moving forward. Don't give up on what you're doing for yourself. Um, and, and what I'm getting also is that for some of you, um, as you work on improving your finances and your work life, um, something will be happening with your like level of integrity, your self-respect, um, you know, your self-love, and, and as that starts to build up to a higher level, um, you, you know, really start to see 
what you want in the relationship that you're in. It could be, you know, something that I'm picking up as well, that um, you're feeling like you're not really adequate enough. Maybe there's some things that you've been doing that have been bad habits, um, unhealthy thoughts, uh, unhealthy behaviors and that's you know this is where your uh, your high priestess is coming in because she's trying to help you get away from that and make more positive decisions for yourself um, and you have the strength to do it you have the strength to see like once you get to that level um, you know, when you, you put away the things that are not working for you and you you work on, you move forward on the things that you feel led to do that you know that's in your best interest, um, the level of your relationship will rise to a higher level. But let me warn you also, for some of you, you're actually with somebody. It's like um, we... We attract um, our mirror image. So for some of you that have had um, some troubles with self-respect, self-love, um, high integrity, um, you've also drawn that same kind of person to you. And it's like you, you can feed negativity off of each other. You know, like... Uh, you may put the other person down, they may put you down, and you just go back and forth with this unhealthy um, energy between the two of you, is what I'm trying to say. But your high priestess is trying to explain to you and help you to move away from that so that when you um, start moving yourself in a direction to hire your, to better educate yourself or um, really focus on your career and what you want to do with yourself and start treating yourself with that love and high integrity, self-respect, um, you may find that the person that you've been with, that you're no longer attracted to them, you know? So that's why I'm saying I, I really feel like this... Um, this reading is really more about you and, and really finding yourself and rising up to a higher level. Because what happens is when you build yourself up, which is what your high priestess is, is trying to tell you, that you're strong enough, you've got the strength and the courage to pull yourself up. And so um, as you do that, you're going to realize that the person that you've been with is not really uh, somebody that's within your best interest because that person is going to continue to try to pull you down. Um, and you, you know, you're really trying to get your act together. So there are some changes that you might need to make, but like right now, the most important thing that you need to worry about or focus on is yourself and your finances and trying to get your, your independence and and just really finding your yourself and being true to yourself and and um you know just just be true to yourself if uh set those boundaries i guess is what i'm trying to to get at um there may be some things that you don't that you're being told to do or asked to do could be on a job or 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 something and if you're not feeling it if you if you don't feel right about it or um, you're not comfortable, it's like don't make those compromises because if you do, um, then it's just going to make you feel more guilty and more upset with yourself. So I hope this makes sense. <laughs> I know this was supposed to be a love reading, but when I when I saw it, I just, you know, it was like, wow, this this it is about love, but it's about self-love. <laughs> And it is about a relationship, but the relationship that you've been in, you may not want it by the end of the month. You know, once you've you've gotten to a higher level or you've seen how much better you feel or can do without the negativity of the other person. Okay. Um, anyway, <laughs> until next time, Libra, um, please take care of yourself. Like I said, if you have any comments to make, 
please do so. And if you want a personal reading, absolutely get in touch with me. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until I see you again, take care.